when did you start using steroids? Oh, 90. Yeah. Oh, I so mean, not with the Mets. No, come on. I mean, I mean, with the Mets, I, uh, yeah, I was a part-time player with the Mets. I mean, more than part-time. I played, I got 400 at bats, but it wasn't until I, I got traded and, and I became the everyday center fielder that, um, I didn't really forget how to hit. I just, like, my body couldn't hold up. I'm a very little, I'm a small guy. I mean, and so, you know, throwing, throwing, throwing amphetamines on top of that. And, I mean, at the end of the season, like, I mean, I, I, I my back felt like a telephone pole. So I, I kind of took charge of that myself. I was way ahead of the curve on that because uh, when I got traded from Philadelphia, I mean, from New York to Philadelphia, the general manager, Lee Thomas, said, Hey, don't worry about 89, 90s. You're, you're, you're not going to have to look at the lineup. You'll be in the lineup every day. So that's You hit 325, I think, that first year in Philly, didn't you? Yeah, well, the first year I got on the shit, yeah. On the stuff, I mean. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, on the... Um, but you knew right away there was a big difference with steroids. Well, I, I did it, but I, I did it for, I mean, as bad as this, weird as this might sound... I actually did it for the right reasons. I did it for my family and for my ability to, to stay on the field because um, I, I just physically am not built to withstand the 162-game schedule. And, and I understand something. Like, people, the public, they, they don't really get how grueling and how tough of a schedule it, it is. And, and um, baseball is not baseball in pro ball. It's different. It's a whole... A test of the mind and the body and a lot of things involved. But you also, I mean, you got to be fair to the other players who may not have been using. Uh, like you said, I, you did it for I, yourself. The, the only ones that weren't using are stupid. I mean, unless they don't like money. But how prevalent that was. Everyone did it. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody on the Phillies using I mean, it? anybody that played well. I mean, look, I mean, is it a coincidence that the year I hit I'm, I'm, I'm leading the league. I'm in 400 in June. I'm leading the um, league in everything. And, I mean, I had 325. I lead the league in hits. I mean, why? how could I lead the league in hits? I mean, there's only one person in the world that can lead the league in hits, right? And I did it twice. And I couldn't have done that without the um, proper medication. Now, am I proud to say that? No. But the schedule is so grueling and so tough. That as, as a guy, I mean, like, like for instance, today, drugs are out of the game. But when I was playing, I mean, what do you do? Let a guy, like, you look next to him and he's, like, built like a, you know, Greek statue. Let him make $30 million and you're going to go home and get a real job? Yeah, but you had some guys who, you know, John Cruck didn't look like he used to. He didn't use him. He didn't. Kurt Schilling didn't look like he used to. No. Pitchers, not a lot of pitchers did. Um, but... Darren Dalton looked like, uh, or Pete Incavilia looked like they could have been. Yeah, Inky, he was allergic to leather, you know. Inky, yeah. He was allergic to leather. Leather. I Meaning he was like, he couldn't play defense. Trust oh, me. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's really, really allergic <laughs> to leather. But he was the best, actually, the best five o'clock hitter I ever played with. I mean, he could hit some. Oh, batting practice. Oh, my oh yeah, people would go watch in Kabili and just hit bombs. Shots, man. Yeah. They, uh, and then it would be seven oh five, and then all of a sudden. Well, then you know, you put a little of this and a little of this. <laughs> Curveball uh, slider. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the hardest part of the game. The book is House of Nails: A Memoir of Life on the Edge, the Construction, the Demolition, the Resurrection. Now available online wherever books are sold. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.